Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna cover some social engineering tools and specifically the tool Beef. And this is going to be a really powerful tool that is used by hackers to hack web browsers of their victims. Now, often you're gonna see people say, my Facebook got hacked or my Gmail got hacked. And a lot of times people get hacked by opening up links within Facebook. Somebody will randomly send them a Facebook message and then they click on the link. And then that link takes them somewhere and then they do something stupid and they get key logged or they accidentally give up their email and password. And a lot of people use the exact same email and password for all of their accounts. And if this is something you do, make sure you don't do that in the future because if somebody does happen to get your email and password for one account, then just that one account is compromised and not everything you own is compromised. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and check out how to install Beef and then how you can actually hack web browsers and begin stealing information and phishing for emails and passwords from individuals. Now, remember this is just for educational purposes. Don't actually go out and use this illegally against someone. And if you're wondering if it's illegal or not, if you don't have specific permission to actually hack this person and their computer from them for testing purposes then it is illegal you specifically have to have permission to do this and if you really want to be safe I would say have written permission so that you cannot get in trouble even in the future you would be surprised at how many times I get asked to hack somebody's cell phone or hack a Gmail account or somebody will tell me my girlfriend lost her Facebook account can you hack it for me and really they just want to try and get passwords to other people's stuff this is extremely illegal and will get you in trouble so use this tool wisely let's go ahead and and jump into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is install Beef, and then I will show you how to start it up. So it's actually really simple. We're just gonna type in sudo apt update, and we'll let that run. And once that has finished running, we're gonna go sudo apt install, and then we want Beef dash XSS, and then we'll let this run. We'll say yes. And this might take a minute. We're gonna go ahead and say, okay. And now you should be able to come up to your dropdown and search for beef and type and hit beef start. And you'll type in your password and then beef is gonna go ahead and open up. I'm gonna to switch to a different attack machine and we'll actually grab this one's browser. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, once you have launched your beef by running beef start up here, and you have entered in your password. And if it's your first time entering your password, you might actually be prompted to make a password for your beef account. And the default is beef beef, just in case you weren't. And I'll go ahead and log in and you'll be brought to this page right here. Now, a couple things I need to explain. First, this little hook URL right here, this is my IP address that I am running on my local machine. And I actually don't like running beef from up here, this beef start. I'll show you how I like to run it. I will come into the user share beef XSS and then I will launch beef from there. So I go like this, you, I CD over to user share beef XSS and I actually ran the reset to clear the database but this launches beef for me just like this and then you're given the IP address of your attack machine right here and I need to point them back to my local machine right here to try and grab in order to hack or hook their web browser. So what you'd wanna do with this hook, H this hook URL right here is copy it and I've actually already made the file over on my desktop so we can g-edit this test.html and right here you're able to see I just have HTML, a body tag and I close it off and you could actually put in here like an H1 if you wanted and then close it off and we could type in you have been hacked like this so that way something renders but what is really important is that you grab this little hook URL right here and you put it in right here as a source so that way it'll actually point when they visit our web server back over here. Now what you have to do at this point is actually start a web server and host up your little script. So this is pretty simple to do. I save mine on my desktop. So what I do is I type in sudo python2 dash m simple http server 480. I don't like to use the python3 server. That's why I'm using python2. And now we have a simple http server running on our local machine. And when they visit our IP address dash test.html, they'll grab that malicious code. So what we would do is come over here and we can send somebody a link. I'm actually gonna send myself the link. I have a second 
Kali machine running over here that we're actually going to hook in our browser right up here. And once we hook it, it will pop up and we'll have a bunch of different options of things we can do with it. So first things first is we have to fish. And so I'll type in my email address here and we'll just type in phishing email. And I spelled that wrong. So we have our phishing email and then we'll just say email and then we want to create our link and you have to remember what we are pointing our victims to. I need my IP address, which is right here. And we're actually going to be pointing them to port 80 and then our test.html. So we can slash test.html and then we'll name this check out this image and we can say okay now if we send this it's going to go to our self but if we come over to our other gmail we can refresh this click on this and now when we open this link you have been hacked pops up really if you were doing some kind of phishing you wouldn't want to do this because they're immediately going to know something happened but if you come back over to our beef panel we have this right here and it tells us the machine that we are on and it gives us all of this information about the browser that we have now hooked and then a bunch of different things we can do with it okay now a very basic and simple way to do this social engineering is going to be to use our google phishing especially because what we did was we had them open this gmail email right here and you could use anything like facebook or any other way to send them this link and this also works on mobile devices as well and they've been brought to our beautiful website we have made right here and let's say we wanted to try and grab their Google email and password we can come down here to the social engineering and we can go to Google phishing we'll click on this and it'll bring up what we need over here and if we hit execute this will go ahead and bring them automatically to this page right here. Looks like they're on Google, but really they're still on our malicious website. And if they come over here and try to sign in, we can grab their actual email and password. And then it says that they're brought to this page over here. But really what happens is it brings them back to their Gmail account. So it looks like it actually worked and they were able to log in on their Gmail. So they will have no idea that anything has happened. And now we are able to grab their email and their password to their Gmail account. Now you have to remember not to be using this illegally. This is just for educational purposes so that you don't go ahead and get yourself Hack. Now, you have to remember not to be using this for malicious purposes. This is just something to show you educationally that this is how you typically see Facebook accounts get hacked, Google accounts get hacked, where people are able to grab their email and password. Another common way to get those stolen from you is by key loggers, which you can actually use with beef as well.